Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together its operation. Give Jesus your 100%. In 2023, beloved, the door of the ark is closing. The honest lies on individuals. If you want to be part of the ark, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Praise the name of the Lord. We serve a powerful God, beloved, the great I am, the one and only risen king. In him I hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. Beloved, have you ever asked yourself about the second epistle that John wrote? What is that all about? Who is the elect lady that John wrote about? Many believers are still having difficulties, beloved, to believe that Jesus has a wife. And many of us, beloved, it was hard to believe from the beginning. And it's written in the word of God, beloved. We were taught another Jesus. Therefore, we couldn't associate the true Messiah with having a wife because he is not the Messiah that we were taught in churches. And he is teaching us his word, beloved. It is amazing that John left a letter to the elect lady. Our father has been teaching us, beloved, about the elect, the chosen, the 144,000. And we know that the bride of Christ or the wife of Jesus is one of the 10 virgins in Matthew 25. It's one of the 144,000, the elect from the 12 tribes of Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to read the word of God and we're going to go through a few verses. Praise the name of the Lord. I will read from verse 1. The elder unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth. Beloved, who else can this be if it's not the wife of our Lord Jesus Christ? Let us pay attention to what John said. He said that unto the elect lady and her children, praise the name of the Lord. I have shared that scripture that says that many are the children of the born woman than the children of the married wife. I said that it's a metaphor speaking about the bride of Christ because the children that she will gather are only 144,000 from Israel. So we hear John is writing this letter not only to her, but to her and her children. And he continued, he said, Whom I love in the truth, and not only I, but also they that have known the truth. Obviously, beloved, once we all know who the wife is, we will all love her because we love our father. We will love our queen as well. The word of God is amazing. Let us continue. For the truth's sake, which dwelleth in us and shall be with us forever. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth, as we have received a commandment from the Father. Have you noticed that John constantly said we? Because John as well was an angel who took on flesh, the same like the bride of Christ. So he said in verse 4, 
I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth as we have received a commandment from the Father. As we have received the commandment as angels, they received a commandment from the Father. John said he rejoiced greatly that he found that his children are walking in truth. This is amazing, beloved. Her children are walking in truth of the word of the Lord. Let us continue. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as thou I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. Again, John is saying to her in this letter, it's not that I am giving you a new commandment. It is that commandment that we were given in the beginning. So you can see it's an angel talking to another angel that we were given that commandment by Father in the beginning. The word of God is powerful and is amazing. So for those who are having difficulties to believe, beloved, you tell me which lady is John writing this letter to? He is saying that that commandment that we were given in the beginning, he was with this lady before in the beginning while they were given this commandment by the father. The word of God is powerful. Everything is written, beloved. It's just that we lacked understanding. These are mysteries that have been written. Go and ask your pastor or your leaders in the church that who is the lady that John wrote an epistle, a letter to? Who is this elect lady that John wrote to? Because this is the bride of Christ. You can see that one angel is writing to another angel. John kept on saying, we, this is the commandment that we were given by Father from the beginning. That's what he said in verse 5. Let us continue. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. Again, he mentioned the commandment you heard from the beginning. Walk in it. Not only you, you and your children. He's writing to the elect lady, to the wife of Jesus Christ. One of the angels, as John was an angel as well. Let us continue to verse 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. And if you remember 2 Corinthians chapter 11, in verse 4, Paul said the same, that he feared for the uh, Christians, he feared for the believers, that another Jesus will be preached, that Satan will enter the church and preach another Jesus. So John is reminding her that many deceivers have entered the world. And you will agree with me, beloved, that this letter is for our dispensation. Where the deceivers are everywhere, beloved. This letter was for our time. Because this is our dispensation that is being taught about the wife of Jesus Christ. Who is here on earth in flesh? I have shared about Ezekiel chapter 1. The four living creatures that she sits on the left side. So her and John knew each other. But John came here on earth first. 
he left a letter for her, reminding her of many deceivers, beloved, that have entered the world, deceiving many. As Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, praise the name of the Lord. Verse 8, look to yourself that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. So again, John is reminding her that be on the lookout so that we do not lose the reward that we have worked hard for. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 9, whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If they come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your own house, neither bid him Godspeed. For he that biddeth him Godspeed is partaker of his evil deeds. The word of God taught us, beloved, that if you do not have his spirit, you are not his. And there are many who are rejecting the gospel of Jesus Christ. And now we understand, beloved, because they are not his, they do not have his spirit. They cannot hear his message. The earthy, as I have shared. So again, we see that John is reminding the elect lady about the gospel. That whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath no God. Praise the name of the Lord. Exactly as I was sharing in the series of the elect, if you do not have his spirit, you are not his. Neither can you hear his messages because he said, my sheep hear my voice. The word of God is amazing. It is powerful. He continued in verse 10 that if anyone come unto you and bring not this doctrine, do not allow him into your house. And it's what our father taught us, beloved, that we should not listen to any doctrine that is not coming from him. Whatever he is teaching us is what we must hold on to. He has forbidden us to listen to anyone. And should you listen, beloved, Father will chastise you heavily. Because the word of God has said unto us, beloved, remember this is for the elect lady and her children that are walking in the truth. Praise the name of the Lord. So we as the children, as well, we are not supposed to hear any gospel which is not from our father. In verse 12, he said, having many things to write unto you, I will not write with paper and ink, but I trust to come unto you and speak face to face that our joy may be full. Praise the name of the Lord. And indeed, we know that they will meet face to face. What John wrote was enough for while they were apart. When they meet face to face, they will talk more things that we do not know. Because that is for the new earthly Jerusalem. Praise the name of the Lord. What he left for her is enough. Look at what verse 4 says. He said, I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth as we have received a commandment from the father. So the children are walking in truth because they have the spirit of God. And I want to read the word of God from the book of John chapter 14 verse 17. 
The word of God says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. That is the powerful word of God, beloved. The spirit of truth, Holy Spirit, that dwelleth in the elect of God. I have shared the 144,000, the children of of the bride of Jesus, the wife of Jesus. So he said that he rejoiced because the children as well are walking in the truth. Praise the name of the Lord. We are learning the truth, beloved, each and every day. And we have the spirit of God. So we can see clearly that the elect lady is the bride. The elect lady is the wife of Jesus Christ, beloved. In verse 1, I have touched on it a bit. John said, the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth. Okay? So John is letting us understand that he love her and her children in the truth. And let us pay attention what he said in verse 3. He said, Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and in love. So we get to understand the context which John said, Whom I love in truth, the truth that is in the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember, the word of God says, the spirit of God bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So the truth that is in the word of God, the truth that is in our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that is what John said, whom I love in the truth and not only i but also they that have known the truth so those beloved who have known the truth are those who have the spirit of god i have read in john 14 verse 17 those who have the spirit of god knows the truth. They are those that will love the elect lady and her children. So this message again is for those who says a woman is not supposed to share the gospel. We can see that John wrote an epistle to the elect lady and her children. The 140 4,000. So we can see, beloved, that this woman is a prominent leader in the church. She is not an ordinary person. Wherever she is, when the time comes, she will hold the position of power. And we know that she will be gathering Israel with our Lord in her and I have shared that she is a warrior. Time is coming where she will arise and thresh. She has a sword in her mouth. It is only her and the Lord Jesus Christ throughout the Bible that have the sword in their mouth. This is the elect lady, beloved. This is the bride of Christ. This is the wife of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So for those who do not believe still, beloved, I totally understand. Now that our Father has taught us a lot about the elect and the elect have the spirit of God. Therefore, they can hear the truth in the word of God. So if you are still battling, continue to pray and trust our Father. So that's it for this message. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn mysteries in the word of God. Bye-bye.